Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, <laughs> thank you so much for supporting the channel. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a love message for my Virgos, okay? Now, this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Okay, I got distracted there, Virgos. Um, I don't know who this is that is going to come up in this reading, okay? But they're giving me two songs and they gave me one of the songs from yesterday. And then just as I was trying to do the intro they started playing i don't even know who sings this i feel like it's a really old song um i could find out what am i hearing definitely something about sex okay i don't know if you remember the song how does it go I think it goes something like, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. <laughs> so is somebody fantasizing here about you? Ooh, I mean, that's how it feels. Now, the other song, okay, let me just grab my book. Let me grab my book. The other song is from Whitney Houston, and I believe Whitney Houston is a Leo, so you could be dealing with a Leo. Mm. Oh, okay. So it's a song by Whitney Houston, and it's the song, I Get So Emotional, Baby. Now, the first bit that I wrote down here out of this song, it says, I don't know why I like them. I just do. So this is someone who maybe doesn't even really understand why they're so attracted to you here, Virgos, or why they can't stop thinking about you or lusting um, about you. It also says, I've been hearing your heartbeat inside of me. And it says, I keep your photo beside my bed. Now, it could be flipped, okay, for the masculines, right? This definitely could be someone... I, and I, I feel like what I was picking up here is it's either Virgos, feminines, or whoever this man is that is lusting over you, they may have someone that is pregnant or they may be with someone that they have children with, okay? Now, for my masculines, I don't know if you have a feminine pregnant and I don't know if you're kind of like ignoring this person or you've separated from this person here because I was kind of seeing like an ultrasound photo, Now, it could just be someone who has your picture beside their bed or someone who's looking at your picture here, Virgos, right? That kind of energy of nostalgia. But it says, living in a world of fantasy. See, again, this energy of someone who is fantasizing about you, dreaming about you. This could be someone who is finding it a little bit difficult to focus. It's almost that energy of everything reminds them of you. And it could even be especially music with them giving me these two songs, okay? But it says, living in a world of fantasies. It says, I can't get you out of my head. It says, I've been waiting for the phone to ring all night. So I don't know if this is someone where um, they've been waiting for you to communicate with them. This could even be someone who I'm seeing that, you know, they kind of want to dial your number and they may pull it up, but they actually don't press call or they write out texts, but they don't press send. I'm also seeing someone who is going over some sort of old conversations, if it's not photos. Now, in that song, she also says, why you want to make me feel so good? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, it says, why you want to make me feel so good? It says, I got a love of my own, baby. See, this is what I'm saying. I feel like for some of you, this may be someone who already has somebody. It says, I shouldn't get so hung up on you. It says, I remember the way that we touched. I wish I didn't like it so much. Oh, Virgo. <laughs> it says, I get so emotional, baby. Every time I think of you, it says, ain't it shocking what love can do? So is this someone who is in love with you, Virgos? 
All right. <laughs> what is this energy for my Virgos in love? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, it's like I can hear Whitney singing it loud and clear. <laughs> it's like you get this person excited or... Um, I don't know. It's like they just think of you and they just kind of smile and... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've got goosebumps that are trying to come out. But <laughs> All right, what is this? Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. What is this energy for my Virgos in love? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, oh, okay. Mm, I knew that reconciliation <laughs> was going to come out. But you see, the ones that they're also showing me here is forgiving and learning. And then you do have express your love and give your relationship a chance. So the forgiving and learning, it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So for some of you, is this someone who wants you to forgive them for something? Because they, they want to tell you how they feel, right? It says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And then you have work on your partnership. Man, what is that? Yeah, someone you're in separation from. What do we have coming out here? And I'm telling you, if this is someone who is in another relationship with somebody else, it may be unrequited love here. With the unrequited love, it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Someone could be staying in a relationship purely for the children. Your love life is being affected by children. So the first one that I saw coming out here, it says worth waiting for Virgos. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. You also have reconciliation. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. And then you have retreat. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. So this is someone who wants to spend some time with you here. Yeah, they're playing that song. Don't ask me who sings it. <laughs> but I'm hearing just me and you. Yeah, this is someone who just wants just you and them, Virgo. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can see who this is. I just heard someone say, not that fool again. So, I don't know. You're dealing with an Aquarius? Aries? <laughs> Someone's name could be Sebastian. I'm also hearing Sean, Michael, Ray. And Patrice, oh my goodness, what are we doing? Belinda, Blake, I don't know, something could be with Orlando, or maybe someone's name is Orlando, but what is worth waiting for? What is this energy for my Virgos in love? Thank you, Spirit. I was going to say, is this person shy? What's going on? So you have coming out here as a king of pentacles. Now that king of pentacles was trying to come out in the reverse. Show me more. Definitely could be somebody from your past, okay? You could be dealing with a soulmate. And you have it with the ace of wands. Someone who wants some sort of new beginning. Now, I'm getting two things with maybe this King of Pentacles wanting to come out in the reverse, okay? So I'm going to bear in mind that it could possibly have wanted to. Um, I'll see what comes out with it. This could be, like I said, maybe someone who is married to someone else, okay? Um, King of Pentacles doesn't have to be another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It could be someone who is committed somewhere else. But even if it was coming out in the reverse, it would have been giving me that energy of unrequited um, love, right? Not being happy where you are someone definitely could be staying in another situation due to their finances what is this king of pentacles energy you have the lovers dealing with a gemini and we have the ten of pentacles coming out here I wanted to land on that king of pentacles clarify the king of pentacles the strength card, Leo energy. 
or this is someone who has seen you in this energy i just did a be aware and you came out in this energy here virgos as the strength okay so you could have leo heavy in your chart or you're just in a very confident space right now hmm what is the lovers chariot cancer energy i feel like this is someone yeah the full card at the bottom of the deck i feel like this is someone who wants to take some sort of leap of faith here okay they want to come towards you i feel like you know somehow some way they are kind of being divinely guided towards you as well but what is this ten of pentacles the world card yeah now, you see, they could, like I said, they maybe they are married, right? Ten of Pentacles energy. Or maybe they have been with somebody for a long time. Or um, Ten of Pentacles can talk about years. Or there is something about maybe some sort of finances here. Now, this could also be saying to me that this is someone who wants to build some sort of legacy here with you. I just saw 11.22 on the clock. clarify you've got the hermit the page of cups at the bottom of the deck and the queen of swords and the high priestess so some of you virgos you're very intuitive here okay queen of swords and the high priestess this definitely could be someone who wants to apologize or maybe they want to just test the waters here but maybe you intimidate them what's the king of pentacles and the strength some of you definitely could be dealing with a taurus Seven of Pentacles. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Two of Swords. I feel like this person is feeling at, feeling like they're at some sort of a crossroads, right? The Two of Swords can talk about someone who is in a position where it's a very difficult decision to make here. You could have this person blocked. With the two swords of energy of stalemate. Seven of pentacles here. I feel like this person is very much reflecting on things that they have invested in. How they've spent their life, their time. Again, it could be someone who is looking at their finances. That could be the thing that is just stopping them here. I feel like the way I'm looking at this seven of pentacles here, right? We have the five of pentacles over here and we have two pentacles that are separate. I feel like someone could have spent up to five years with someone here. They could have up to five children with them. Um, or again, you know, the five of pentacles energy can talk about maybe somebody who's feeling left out in the cold or going through some sort of temporary financial hardship here. But you see how we have the two of pentacles over here, which the two of pentacles can also talk about making a decision. It's almost like this person with the watering can kind of facing the two of pentacles. It's almost like this person is saying to themselves, you know, what is going to be worth me investing in? You know, what what is going to grow for me if I water it, right? If I nurture it, if, if, if I put the time, effort and energy into it. So it feels like someone here is trying to make some real kind of like... Um, concrete decisions yeah there's that five of pentacles ten of swords what is the lovers and the chariot the seven of wands Whoever this is, okay, Virgos, yeah, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands. Whoever this is, they know that they are going to have to fight for this situation. The Seven of Wands talks about standing up for your beliefs, standing your ground. I feel like this is someone that is going to have to fight for this situation to be successful. Now, the other way I am seeing this seven of wands here, Virgos, is this may be someone who sees that 
you are kind of very guarded or you have your um, guards up, right? Your boundaries are real strong here. You also could definitely be protecting something that maybe that you have built, right? Because you have this woman with the one wand and then you see that she's kind of like facing the six wands. I feel like for some of you, there could be some sort of creative project or something like that here um, that you're protecting or maybe you're just kind of protecting your heart. But I see you fighting for some sort of success and victory. So again, I don't know if you're very focused on some sort of um, business, um, your creative spark. What's the seven of wands? You could just be in this energy where you're very much protecting your money. What's the seven of wands? The moon card coming out sideways. What is the moon? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, number one, you're protecting your destiny here. But um, the moon coming out sideways. Someone could be fearful. But the Wheel of Fortune coming out tells me that something is going to turn in someone's favor. What is the Ten of Pentacles in the world? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't know, Virgos. It just really feels like someone's got to make a choice. But this is also someone who knows that you are not going to be put in no third party situation. Six of Pentacles can talk about giving to two. Now, this may also be someone who wants to gift you something. What's the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What's the Six of Pentacles? The Three of Cups. Why do I feel like this is also someone who sees that you're being celebrated somehow, some way online? Some of you, the way I'm seeing this Six of Pentacles, this is someone who watches you. I don't know if you um, give back to the community somehow, right? Maybe you use your gifts for something here. This woman has two gifts in her hand. Or for some of you, like I said, there's three people in this card and there's three people in this card. Who do you love and are you for sure? Who you going to pick? Who you want to be with? This is also somebody who, I don't know, maybe they're questioning whether, you know, there's even a chance of reconciliation, right? Three of Cups does talk about reunited and it feels so good. What is the Six of Pentacles? With the Three of Cups, Page of Swords, Nine of Swords. This is someone who watches you online for some of you. Will they watch you if you live near this person or whatever, right? Knight of Swords, what is this? The Empress. This is someone who wants to seize some sort of opportunity here with you, okay? The Empress is someone who gets a lot of attention. They attract a lot. They're very abundant. So Six of Pentacles with the world and this Ten of Pentacles, there, there definitely could be something that you are doing when it comes to your work here, Virgos. You may be manifesting something for yourself. And this is someone who sees that. So what is the retreat? What's the retreat? It landed on the Three of Cups. <laughs> You have the Ten of Swords. Okay. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. What's the Ten of Swords? The Emperor. Justice. What's the Ten of Swords? Seven of Cups. And the Nine of Swords out here again. Okay, I, this feels very similar to the Be Aware, okay? Um, it kind of feels like whoever this is, okay? Uh, let me clarify more. Yeah, the moon card at the bottom of the deck. There's some sort of secrets here or something that needs to be... Um, or they worry that you're going to see something here or know something. What's the Ten of Swords? With the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Why is that Ten of Swords here? 
damn. <laughs> you have the Queen of Pentacles coming out with the Ten of Swords. This may be someone who betrayed you. Ten of Swords talks about backstabbing, betrayal, enemies, bad mouth, and bitterness, failure, ruin, collapse, breakdown. It talks about an inability to cope. So is this someone who's just going through a lot of... What is the Seven of Cups? This could have been... Okay, show me more. What's the Seven of Cups? The Four of Wands. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. And what's the Nine of Swords? What's that Nine of Swords spirit? The King of Pentacles. <laughs> show me more. <laughs> and the Six of Pentacles. Oh, spirit, what is this? What is the Six of Pentacles? Virgos, I feel like for some of you, okay, I know I'm going to use the word simple and you're probably like, that's not a simple thing. I understand, okay? But there's a lot worse of things in the world, trust me. For some of you, okay, this is someone who may just want to, you know, they may be kind of upset with themselves here and stressing out, either because they lied to you about being married, okay? Um, with this Queen of Pentacles, four of wands coming out here. They may have told you that they were single here, so, this person may be in a, a position where they were kind of like given to two, okay, like I said, over here. For others of you, this may have been someone who went against you in the past and they may be regretting that, okay? Um, this could have been someone who maybe did something out of anger or, you know, maybe they just wasn't in the right headspace. Maybe they just wanted to get some sort of revenge. I don't know, but whatever they did, they are regretting it. Um, for some of you, this could have been someone who tried to affect your stability, but like, I feel like for some of you, this is someone who didn't tell you that they had a, a, another family situation or they were with somebody else or they're married or they live with someone. Okay. What is the emperor? The ace of wands. And the four swords yeah fear anxiety oh mm, i'm gonna need to get one more <laughs> what is that emperor the ace of wands and the four swords temperance okay one more and the tower what's the temperance and the tower Knight of Pentacles. And what's this tower? The Two of Cups. For some of you, this may be someone who has realized that they actually want to just be with you. They want to bring back some sort of peace balance to this situation here. But the Knight of Pentacles is not someone who's moving very fast. They could have had some sort of epiphany or realization. Give me one more on the Tower and the Two of Cups. The Five of Swords coming out sideways, landed on that Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person may, especially if they um, chose or they had lots of options here. This is someone who is feeling defeated when it comes to relationships or partnerships. This is also someone who may be feeling defeated um, if they walked away from you in the past here, feeling like you was going to crumble or something. Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Wands. No. Even if it did hurt, you still got back up. Even if it was disappointing, you're still moving forward. But now also for those of you with the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, this is someone, if they did marry someone else, they're seeing the truth in that situation. And even if they haven't, they weren't married to someone else even if they chose somebody over you that looks like it was a very difficult situation for them with the nine of wands it talks about an ongoing battle and now they're seeing the truth in you that you were stable solid loyal i 
I'm also get, I don't know Virgos. I'm also picking up with this Emperor, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Swords in this deck, right? It's actually called the Four of Swords, which makes me think of illness. Okay, someone here could have caught some sort of STD. What's the justice? Knight of Cups. And we have the two of wands. If this is someone who caught some sort of STD, I'm hearing the spirit say that you're lucky it was something that could be cured. So, justice, we have the knight of cups and the two of wands. Yeah, this is someone who even wants to come towards you and do the right thing here. This is also someone who is realizing that there is kind of like a cause and effect for the choices that we make. Two of Wands is still, though, trying to make some sort of decision. I feel like this is someone also, like I said, watches you online. This woman has, like, a mobile in her hand. And she see how she's holding on to that, eight, that wand? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to say, uh, like that. For some of you, this may be someone who masturbates to you. Okay, moving on. What is the reconciliation? Nine of Pentacles. Someone may be wondering if you're single or they know that you're single here, okay? Or they want to get to you before you find someone else, Virgos. What's the Nine of Pentacles with reconciliation? The Ten of Cups. And the Judgment. Reconciliation. Three of Pentacles, three of Wands. But you see, we have the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. This could have been someone who stole some sort of money or, like I said, I don't know, Seven of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles can also talk about, um, you know, marriage. Maybe they offered their pentacle to someone else. Maybe they feel like they rushed in. Maybe they got married for money. One more for this Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. And <laughs> look at that. <laughs> So we got the ten of pen, the ten of cups out here, okay. So we have emotional fulfillment here, happy families, right? And then you got this nine of pentacles where some other girls you're single, okay, and they feel like they got the last pentacle here to make it the ten. But you see, this person, whoever they are, they're not very confident. Why? Because they feel like what they're bringing to the table is nothing compared to what you already have. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Free will here, Virgos. Ten of Wands, the Magician, the Queen of Wands, Six of Wands, the Five of Cups. For some of you, this person may even be with a fire sign, a feminine fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could just be someone who is very attractive or... But I don't know if this is someone who dabbles in some sort of dark magic here with the Magician and the Ten of Wands. Almost like somebody may have been trying to make things difficult for this person. Mm. Do you know I was supposed to get one of these at the beginning? <laughs> Let's see. What do we have in love from our Virgos? What would have come out of this deck, Spirit? Let's get some different cards. What do we have for Virgo in love? So we have the fox coming out. That's a number 14, which boils down to a five. So the fox does talk about someone who is tricky, someone who um, does things the wrong way, makes wrong choices. It can talk about someone who is clever and it can talk about caution. So let's see why. What's the energy for my Virgos in love? We have the ring. It talks about a promise. It talks about commitment, partnership, deal, contract, and a cycle. Energy in love. And then we have the woman coming out. And it says woman, wife. It says questioning herself. It says feminine energy. That wanted to come out in the reverse. Clarify these three cards. What is the fox? We have the whip. 
talks about conflict, debate, hard work, abuse, pain, physical activity. Hmm. And what's the ring? Damn, came out in the reverse. So again, I don't know if this person is leaving somebody behind here. They may be leaving a sneaky energy here behind, a controlling energy here behind. Coming out with the ring, we have the mountain. So again, it's making me feel like a marriage because the mountain talks about obstacles. Now, if this person wanted to commit to you, I feel like there was some sort of obstacle here. This talks about delays. It talks about stubbornness. It talks about a block. But yeah, something could be coming to an end with that, with the scythe at the bottom of the deck. Someone here definitely could be following their heart, even though they may be scared. Because you may see this person as a snake. <laughs> what is this woman that wants to come in the reverse? We have coming out sideways, landing on the mountain. So it says book. It says education, knowledge, research, unknown, mystery and secret. I feel like if this person is leaving somebody behind, it's because some sort of information has come out about them. But let me see. Yeah, because they want a new beginning here with the stalk at the bottom of the deck and the tree and the rider. Oh, someone is definitely on the move here. This is someone who wants to grow something. It says karma from the past. So again, this could be someone who has learned some sort of lesson. Spirit, just before I move on, just show me what this fox and whip is. Just clarify what this fox energy is. Thank you, Spirit. Give me three cards. Damn, I'm telling you. <laughs> I hope this Queen of Cups, whoever she is, does not watch my channel. <laughs> because uh, what is the fox and the whip? You got a Queen of Cups coming out. I need one more. Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords. Yeah, someone who is moving to Karma Waters. Three of Wands. Someone sees the bigger picture about this person. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. All right, thank you, Spirit. So, what else do we have in love? They're saying, um, <laughs> I don't know who this Queen of Cups is, okay? <laughs> but they're saying she gave me a run for my money. So anyway, you have yin-yang coming out. It says, like the yin-yang symbol, it says twin flames contain an aspect of each other's characters within themselves. What else is the energy here? Thank you, Spirit. You have connection coming out. It says your connection is eternal and unbreakable. So you definitely could be dealing with a twin flame. You have universe. It says the universe is guiding you to that special person. It says allow everything to take its natural course. So something here for some of you took time. You have honor. It says honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger. You have power. It says the power of love is like a magnet, drawing souls together. And one more. Okay, that was admire. Thank you. So you have remarkable. It says notice everything remarkable about your relationship. And the very last one, it says true love. It says True love comes when you least expect it. So it reminds me of that song, right? Love comes from the most unexpected places. So spirit, show me what the energy is going forward. Virgos dealing with a love situation. Me two cards going forward. We have dreams. Remember that song? How does the words go? Um, I'm hearing, I'm not going to sing it. 
But I feel like this person dreams about you. You could even dream about them as well. So maybe you have that kind of telepathic um, connection here. Recognition. Marriage. Oh, somebody recognizing that they should have married you. Look at don't look at the card at the very end, right? Look at these two people with retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So not only does it make me feel like, yes, yeah, some sort of union coming in. Um, okay, but it also makes me feel like some of you may even go on to marry this person. Maybe you were married to them in a past life with this twin flame energy coming out here. Oh, it's part of it on marriage again. Boundaries, okay. So dreams, they're still singing the same song. <laughs> dream, 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 dream. It's something like when when I when I found you. I don't know. Listen, give me another card. <laughs> what does the energy look like going forward? Thank you, spirit. Okay. So the two turning over, you do have pride and then you also have discover your life's purpose. This could have been someone who was very prideful or stubborn before, okay? Maybe this is someone who kind of rejected this um, union here with the seven of wands. Or like I said, maybe there was, I don't know, there was someone else here interfering with this situation. But you have discover your life purpose. It's almost like someone here is realizing what this relationship is. And then you have courage here. So two cards for going forward from my Virgos in love. Thank you, Spirit. How do you want to end this reading? So we have wake up. Yeah, it says it's your moment. Discover your life's purpose. No need to fear at the bottom of the deck, but give me one more. What's the energy in love? Thank you, Spirit. So we have... <laughs> I like this card. It says we're all mad here. <laughs> it says everyone is a little different. So, I don't know, maybe this is someone who feels like you're a little strange or, <laughs> you're not strange Virgos, like it says, everyone's a little different, you're just unique, okay, yes, bottom of the deck we have do not drink the poison, it says do not do things that are bad for you, so, that is what I have for you when it comes to love. I do hope that something has resonated for you here, Virgos. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.